G'day guys, my name's Cam from Morton Bay Research Station and today I'm going to be taking you on an adventure into the deep blue. We're here on Kwandamooka country in the beautiful Morton Bay. We're going to be going to one of my favourite dive sites. It's super cool and I'm super excited to take you guys there. Now, how it's going to work, you guys are going to be at home or in the classroom. You're going to have your mask on, your fins, your snorkel. We're going to jump in the water and you're going to have a look at it through my eyes. And we'll see what sort of cool things we can see. On top of that, we're also going to be looking at one of the tools we use in marine science, a thing called a bruv, which I'll explain to you a little bit later. Before we go, a little bit on safety. If you're an inexperienced snorkeler, no worries. If you're an experienced snorkeler, even better. If you are going out snorkeling though, make sure you're taking someone with you who is experienced or using a reputable charter company. Alright, go grab your gear, let's jump in the water and see how we go. So the first stop on our little adventure are corals. Not a lot of people know this, but there's actually a really healthy population of corals in Moreton Bay, which is amazing because they have to handle such a wide variety of conditions. Now corals aren't just found on reefs. You can also find them on a few rock walls and a few of the wrecks in Moreton Bay. Now these are my little clownfish mates. They're super cool and I always like to drop in and say hi when I'm swimming past. There's also a wide variety of invertebrates. For instance, check out this blue sea star and this holothurian or sea cucumber which filters the sand. They don't stand out as much as fish, but if you're paying attention, they're still there. Check out these nudibranchs. I didn't even know they were there at the start. And there's a stonefish. He's super camouflaged. Turns out there was two. I didn't even see the other one. That's how sneaky they are. When you have dense populations of bait fish, it often attracts other predatory fish. This is a Queensland groper. This guy was sitting underneath that school of bait fish. These guys are awesome. Did you hear that tail thump as he took off? Now, sometimes when we're looking at these sort of things, we use different kinds of tools, such as brubs, which we'll talk about now. So one of the tools that we can use to measure fish abundance, fish diversity, are brubs. Brubs stand for baited remote underwater video. They're very simple and very effective. They consist of a baited arm and also a camera and a frame up the back. And what that does is that gets a shot of any fish coming in to feed on the bait as we can see here. We've got our brim in the foreground and our yellowtail pike in the background. In this next frame we can see we've actually also got a little wobbygong shark there on the left and a lot more fish life as well. Sometimes when we've got too many fish in the frame or they're moving around too much, We'll freeze frame it. This allows us to get a better idea and to count how many fish are there. I can count 19 yellowfin brim, one butterfly fish, two stripies, and two domino damsels. When we speed the frame back up, we can also see there's lots of other fish cruising around as well. So that's a simple explanation of how brubs work. Also, every now and then we get real lucky and see something really cool. This stingray is awesome. He's huge and he's just cruising past. We also saw one other really rare species. I wonder if we can identify it. Very rare, often not seen on bruvs, possibly the first time. I'm just kidding. It's me cruising around with the GoPro. Not as cool as a stingray, but I still think I'm pretty cool. To finish off our underwater adventure, let's see what else we found. These are yellowtail kingfish. These guys are super, super cool and really inquisitive. It's awesome to see them underwater like this. These fish are black spot tusk fish. They're one of my favorite fish. I really, really love them. Here we've got a sleeping wobbygong just chilling out on top of a wreck. How cool are the colors and the camouflage these guys have got. Really sweet fish. Most of the time when we see Wobbygong, they're chilling out having a snooze on the bottom. However, every now and then we get one that's really active like this guy. He's really interested in what's going on, perhaps looking for a fish or something in amongst the rocks. Check out these cowtail rays. These guys are super cool. One thing we recommend is that you never swim over the top of them. They have a really sharp barb and you don't want to get in their way. This sea turtle came in to say hi. He was super friendly. He's actually a hawksbill turtle, which is a species of turtle that's critically endangered on the ICUN red list. 
we were lucky enough to have two of these guys come in and say hi. It just goes to show how much amazing stuff is actually in Moreton Bay. So that's the end of our little underwater adventure. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did and you saw how much cool stuff you can see in Moreton Bay and how amazing the place is.